Hello, welcome to our kitchen at the farm at White Meadows Farms. Today, we're gonna to be cooking something with maple syrup. You can use maple syrup in multiple ways. It's not just a topping on pancakes. And today, what are we making, Carly? We're making braised root vegetables. Braised root vegetables. We have, what do we have here? Right here? Carrot. Carrot, you want a carrot? <laughs> Great. And what, what's this one? Um, it's parsnips. This is parsnips and? Yeah. What else do we have? This is a rutabaga. Roots. It's our turn. Yep, we're replacing. Turnips. You can replace anything in a recipe, just like maple syrup. What do we use maple syrap for? What does it do? Stuff maple. And? And sweet. And sweet, right? We're gonna use the maple syrup to help caramelize the vegetables when we roast them, when we braise them. Yeah, go ahead. You can eat it. <laughs> four carrots. Four we need carrots. four carrots. Okay, let's take the best carrots. Here, I have a eat. carrot. I can eat. All right. So we have the carrots peeled. Set those off to the side. Now, what does this look like? It's like a white carrot. Yeah, it's a white carrot that um, white bunnies eat. Oh, is that why some bunnies are white? Because they eat parsnips? Or some bunnies are orange because they eat orange carrots? Yeah. I've never seen an orange bunny before. Have you seen an orange bunny? Yeah. Maybe at I, Easter. I colored one. Maybe at Easter. So do you guys know why these are called root vegetables? Because they think? grow underground. Because they grow underground? So that means they're the what of the plant? Root. The root. Yeah. We're eating the root. So we have the rutabaga. 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 I don't know how to cut this. We're gonna get a knife That's here. A We're gonna cut it in half. Knife. Yeah, I'm gonna cut them. I ain't doing big cutting, okay? Wow. Ooh, looks Look yummy at the color in there, right? Eh? I'm gonna cut this. Let me know what it's like. It's very starchy. That was it. I'm not gonna try it. You're not gonna try it? Crunchy. It's crunchy. crunchy. It's crunchy like a carrot. You wanna try it? Pretty good. Or kind of. Kind of? Ew! Yeah. I think a half of one of these is going to be enough for us. We'll yeah. put the rest in there. there. That's a rada, whatever it's called. Rutabaga. Rutabaga. That's, That's a fun enough. word. It's like a, a root. Rutabaga. It's a root Rutabaga. named bega. You cut it in half and then cut it in... Did you follow the recipe? No, I'm not following the recipe. The book's just sitting there. Hmm. Yeah, so we're going to cut these into strips. Cut the ends off. There we go. And then I'm gonna cut them lengthways. More surface area for caramelizing, right? To get all our maple syrup all over this, all the edges. Yummy. It's right from the farm, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right from a tree. Right from a tree. And then you put it to the evaporator. That's right. It gets made into syrup. Now first that goes into a tank and then Look at all those colors. What does it say? One onion quarter. Oh, we got a quarter of an onion. I don't do that. Okay, so we're going to roast these vegetables in this pan right here. Okay. So we're going to put them in here. Nice fit. I think we made too much rude bacon, guys. Last vegetable to go in. What's this? An onion. Can you smell it? Does it smell like onion? Oh, it smells like onion. Does it? Can I smell it? You can smell it, sure. It, it smells dense. Well, not raw. I don't like it. No, that. don't eat onion raw. No. Okay. Well, it smells like onion. Yeah, it does. Yeah. 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 It's called a smusher. So we have some caraway seeds. We're gonna put that in there. All of it? Okay. Not all of it. And we're gonna put a little bit of salt in there. Okay. With some coarse sea salt. It's only smusher. Okay. Action. Okay, you keep smushing that. Okay, and Griffin, you're gonna help me measure out some maple syrup and some olive oil. Okay. So we have our tablespoon right here. You hold it over the bowl. Three tablespoons of olive oil. Right. Hold in three. Perfect. 
That was three tablespoons of olive oil. And then, maple syrup. Maple syrup. Dun, 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 dun. We're gonna do two of these. A lot, a One. lot, a lot. That's a lot of maple syrup. And two. Maple syrup. And today we are using amber in our maple syrup. I'm just okay. How's this coming along? Good. Can we take a look? Can I look? Can, you... Can I stir it? Stir it. Yeah, dump that in there. Okay, and then we're gonna add some pepper. That's good. Okay, oh, that's real nice. Good job. Okay, you put that on the chopping board. Thank you. Okay, now we're gonna take this and pour it over our vegetables. Oh, we're just gonna pour it. It looks yummy. It looks yummy. And we got some nice fresh thyme. All the maple -y goodness. Yeah. Right? Oh, the you know what? Oh, you know what? I don't think that's enough maple syrup. We're gonna put some more. Yeah. That's delicious. Just a little bit more over top. Yeah. Mm. On top. You're gonna put it right on top. Like Fresh this. time to Fresh go time. on top. Just a little bit. Ooh. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Now it's gonna go in the oven. Can I 25 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit and we'll have some delicious root vegetables for lunch. Well, we have the vegetables in the oven and the kids are outside playing now in the backyard uh, while I cleaned up my counter here. Uh, I hope this was a great example of thinking outside the pancake like our contest that's going on right now. Uh, enter on Facebook or Instagram, uh, something similar to what we did or something totally different. We're just trying to encourage people to use maple syrup other than, you know, on the pancake at breakfast time. You can use it for dinner, uh, desserts, uh, lunch time, right? A little bit of maple syrup, uh, just a little bit like we used today, goes a long ways. Well, I guess we did a little bit more than a little, right? A little pouring on top there, it was really good. Uh, so let's, uh, I'm gonna take it out of the oven now. I believe it's done. Let's take a look what we made. All right, that smells delicious. I don't know if you can hear it sizzling away there. Oh, wow. Okay, just a little bit of maple syrup adds so, so much more to this. Oh, hey guys, you're back in. Come on in. So we just took it out of the oven. What do you think? Is that gonna be good for lunch? Yeah. I, tell, I am hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. I'm hungry. Griffin, how did it look? It was right? really good. Good stuff. So a little bit of maple syrup, uh, add to anything. Uh, let's see what you guys come up with.